In this video, we're gonna look at Web3 marketing and the evolution of online marketing. Nothing I said on this video is financial advice, always do your own research before investing any money. Let's get into it, guys. Okay, so you obviously are watching a YouTube video and constantly will be getting barraged with a different adverts. There was probably one at the start of this video and you'll probably see things on Facebook, Instagram, constantly trying to sell you things. And that's because lots of businesses pay lots of money to get those ads in front of you and they hope that you are the right person to see that ad. And there's lots of algorithms and things that are looking at all the ways that you behave to identify whether or not that you are the person that is most likely to buy a particular product. Now, that might seem scary, but things are moving all the time towards making the concepts smarter and smarter to put the right ads in front of you. Now, you traditionally are seeing all of these different websites and different things that are advertising to you, but in the future, you're going to be getting into the metaverse, a digital world where you're likely to see digital billboards and lots of other things like that in order to get you interested and maybe go and make some purchases in the physical world. Now, Web3 marketing is going to be complete evolution on the marketing that you probably see already. Now, typically websites in in this day and age are using something called SEO or search engine optimization. And this allows Google or various other search engines to identify that your particular website is the one that someone wants to see when they're searching for a particular item. So for example, if I was to search for tennis shoes, I'm sure that like number one is going to be Nike or Adidas. And then number two is probably going to be Nike or Adidas or Puma or whoever, right? And those companies spend tons and tons of money and time trying to make sure that they are ranking number one for those particular keywords. But there's going to be a slightly different way of doing things when we move into the Web3 environment because Web3 contains tools like artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has the ability to understand huge, huge data sets. What that means is it can basically see all of the different shopping habits of people like you and people like you who perhaps buy certain shoes or perhaps buy certain makeup or certain video games or certain whatever. It will then identify different people like you and then start to advertise to different people within the niche. You're probably wondering why you always see adverts for things that you wanted to buy in the first place and you never even told the computer you wanted to buy it, but yet here it is. Well, guys, that's because AI is getting smarter and then the Web3 is going to integrate that more into your daily life. And ultimately, it's going to improve your shopping experience, but it's also going to improve the profitability of marketing companies. Technology has had a massive effect on the way people do business. When we look at marketing specifically, there have been three waves of technological advancement during this time, Web2, social media, and now Web3. Web1 was all about static pages, okay? So you can go and view something and you can't really edit it. Maybe something like Wikipedia, okay? Web2 is more like things like Facebook and Instagram where I can go and put images and stuff up, but that platform can take my images, can lock me out and do whatever. Web3 is very much about me having my own ownership over different things, being able to create what I want and being able to have a real impact on the world around me. And that is effectively what the decentralized web means. Centralized means around one place. Decentralized means held in lots of different places. So me myself could be a part of a whole network and I can upload something in my network that I can share with other people, but no one else has basically the ability to take that away from me. Now, evolution of Web3 marketing practices. Now, if you've been involved in NFTs at all over the last couple of years, then you'll understand that NFTs are built on basically hype, okay? So they basically build a community through various different measures, and they use things like Twitter, like Discord, and then they encourage and incentivize each of the members within the community to go out and try and get more members within the community and help boost the product itself. And this is basically similar to like a network marketing concept where you go out and you find other members, and by finding members, you yourself will get benefits within the system. Now, this is a great way to build a platform extremely quickly and it means that projects that really don't have much funding can actually get off the ground extremely fast and make good returns without much capital to start with. This is a very good thing because it allows small projects who might have fantastic ideas to be able to support themselves and build projects like they may never have had a chance to do before because of a lack of capital. And what we're seeing right now is a huge amount of integration from large scale businesses into Web3. And I think the consultants within the Web3 environment who can position themselves in a place where they can encourage others to get on board are going to be the real breadwinners in this particular tech shift. And something very cool here, we've got NFTs generate revenue as non-cannibalistic product lines. So there's different ways in which you can sell products, but also by creating these NFTs, you can sell an NFT to someone to generate revenue from basically no upfront cost, but also you then have the ability to give that person something as an incentive to join the program. For example, if it's Adidas, they might offer you a discount in all their stores 
if you hold this NFT. It's kind of like a membership card and therefore you give money to Adidas, but also you're going to be more loyal to Adidas. You're more likely to share their products with other people and really help build the brand awareness around that particular company. There's also going to be siloed marketing, which evolves to self-marketing systems. The self-marketing system is similar to the ambassador or referral program common in Web 2. The evolution being that in Web 3, those ambassadors aren't kept at arm's length and instead they're part of the community. When Ethereum was first brought to the market, there wasn't a centralized marketing department pushing out all of the collateral messages and information, rather a host of different meetups. Organizers in different cities around the world were being given what they needed to run cohesive meetup groups. So basically there's a whole evolution towards a more inclusive marketing approach, getting people within projects to mutually benefit from the growth of that project. And in turn, they will help the project itself grow. There's also a huge leap going into Web3 influencers within YouTube, Instagram, etc. Basically going out and finding passionate individuals who are really interested in those particular projects. They can then go and share those projects with their growing communities. And this is something very important. I've done it myself and I recommend that maybe you go and try it too. If you can build a community of people who are interested in particular projects, then you can go and find projects that you yourself are interested in, learn about them, and you can then share them with your community. This is good because your community will enjoy learning about those new products, but as well as that, the companies who want to reach different people will see you as a valuable instrument in order to reach various other people. So I really recommend going and trying and building your own community around Web3, NFTs, crypto, or something like that. And coming down through this article, we can see here we got Sotheby's entering Web3. Sotheby's is a huge auction house in London, hundreds of years old, but it's basically now getting ahead of the curve. It's been selling things like NFTs. It also has digital galleries. It has digital places you can go and view different products. And this is a very good example of how Web3 marketing is going to head into the future. So in summary, Web3 in the metaverse is here to stay, guys. It's got tons and tons of opportunities in various different places. The Web3 marketing environment is probably where we're going to see one of the biggest changes. And that's because money is flowing into this space quicker than you can imagine with huge brands and huge names across various industries getting on board with this particular technology shift. If you enjoyed today's video, then hit that thumbs up for me. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to get involved and learn more about crypto, NFTs, and Web3, and much, much more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.